The Great Galactic War has begun. The war with the Empire wouldn't be contained to just one front line. We knew it going in, but it has truly expanded beyond our borders. Battles are being fought in every quadrant. In the north, the Khanates send fleets against the Mad King's servitors. In the west, the Revelry land troops on Rebel soil. Even the core of the Republic has seen a spike in pirate activity that has to be dealt with. But on each of these front lines, captains and admirals fight, representing the Republic. Admiral Tryon has spent months entrenched with the Rebels, fighting off the Revelry aggression. His capital ship heavy battle group winning battle after battle with only the Ares and the Arcadia suffering minor damage. Admiral Boz has made his way to the main Alliance fleet that is in the process of being retrofitted in the Republic Corps. Admiral Novafire has taken command of the first Grand Fleet, which is deep in the Empire's core worlds. So now we wait. We wait for our ground forces to arrive in Imperial space and begin the invasion of the Empire's capital. Hopefully, bringing a swift end to this galaxy-spanning war in time for whatever threat shows itself next. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome back to the Grand Republic campaign of Stellaris. As we continue, well, in this episode, our war with the Galactic Empire and the rest of the galaxy, because that got a little bit more complicated than I had anticipated. We declared war in the last one to well, to force the Empire to finally come to the table and join the Galactic Senate, uh, because they've been talking a lot of crap for forever now, sitting on our border, uh, right behind our lines, and constantly, literally sending us messages telling us that we're ugly. I can't make that up. That actually happened. So, we, we went to war. We were sick of it. We're sick of it. Now, the invasion's actually gone quite well. Let me pull up the military fleets right now. Let me just minimize a bunch of this stuff. We got a lot of orders to give out, but for the military fleets, I've actually, um, Nova Fire has taken command of the first Grand Fleet because we lost the, uh, uh, was it Winter Wind, I think was the last commander of the Grand Fleet? Yeah, I think so. Anyways, uh, so we got the Grand Fleet, we've got Alden's Armada, Alden is still alive, shockingly. Your time will come, Alden. It's coming. Uh, so, we managed to take over all the core worlds of the Empire. I'll actually unpause and keep it at normal speed. Uh, and we're winning, finally. Now, we did send reinforcements over to our allies because the, <laughs> the Galactic Empire signed defensive agreements with the Khanate and the Revelry. So we're gonna end up fighting a war on three fronts. Luckily, we've got allies as well. Uh, up, the Lost King Servitors have been able to hold their own, sorta, kinda. There's an 11,000 fleet cruising on them. As soon as I say this, that's not good. That's gonna be able to run through their entire bit of territory. And all we have is the King's fleet, which is quite small. Uh, I can send reinforcements there uh, through the wormhole if that's what needs to be done. We actually have the third armada, um, and that was the one admiral that I had not added to the list because I hadn't realized you had passed away. What bonus do we want? Daily hull regeneration? Really? It's actually quite cool. I'll take that. Not sure how that works, but I'll take it. All right, so three battleships, the Astral Wind, the Pride of the Core, Death's Revelry. I'm gonna send you with the rest of the support fleet. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna send you guys through the wormhole. You're in the right system. Uh, yeah, there's the fleet right there. We'll send you up to the north, and uh, they're only an 8K fleet. It's not a big enough fleet to stop our enemy. They have an 11K and a 10K? Holy sh! they have a big armada. Okay, this is more this is more frightening than I had anticipated because they're gonna be able to really just rock through this. What's your um, station strength? And we've got a 600 fleet here plus a 2K allied fleet plus a 2.8. Okay, we might be able to hold a little bit. What I'll do is, <laughs> how are you doing on those upgrades? I need to send the Alliance Armada up there. 554K, still upgrading. But you have to be close, Alliance Armada, under our new Admiral Boz. Uh, let's see. 0%, 67%. And these are all at 100? Yeah, and the rest of them are upgraded, so I think we're okay. Now, to get you to the north, uh, well, let's see what route it would take. If I told you to get to first realm, it would take you, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna slow boat it up there. A thousand days. It would take you a thousand days. I'm just gonna do it. I was gonna send you over here, but it's really unnecessary. I'm gonna send you in. So reinforcements are en route. 
They'll be there soon. Spaceport reports Hopefully. enemy contact. Alden, Alden. Um, no, this is the Home Guard fleet. Yeah, go ahead and start pushing through. Take all the sectors there. Now, uh, where's our, where's our? Oh, look at that. They pushed this far forward. There's a 4K fleet right there. I wonder if we can catch them unawares. Maybe. Let's reroute and go this way and see if we can trap this fleet. We do have, uh, I believe, Tryon's fleet up here as well. You guys are engaged? Yes, that world's been captured by the enemy. Crap. There's not a lot I can do about that either. Where's that enemy fleet? It's right here. Um, we might be able to cut them off. We're coming up north here with that fleet. Come over this way with this fleet. We can actually grab this on the way. No, yeah, I think we can pull that off. Let's try it. I don't have uh, I don't have ground forces to help them out on the uh, on the planet that the enemies managed to take, but is what it is. We'll go. We'll grab this. No, they didn't actually take that. They took the one behind it. We just need to win. We just need to win. Hold out a little bit longer. Oh, your fleet's never going to be able to do anything there. Rising unemployment. Institute increased benefits. Now, as for our worlds, we have a lot of construction still going on. Yeah. We have a lot of construction still going on. Uh, for some of these. Not for all of them, though. You actually have plenty of housing. That'll help you with your population problems. You're doing construction. You are getting another power plant just to kind of push these forward a little bit more how are you doing you can go for an upgrade uh and it looks like you can do some more jobs so let's go ahead and replace this let's give you a i'm gonna give you a commercial zone get you all working you actually have blockers that can be cleared really that was terraform. There we go. Let's remove that impassable terrain and give you... Oh, it has to be cleared out. Okay, gotcha. It's no worries, no worries. Let that run. All right. Action underway. You guys are fine. The reinforcements are in route. Our ships in here are actually getting a lot of work done, so that's good. Uh, I might send you guys to start cutting north and just kind of take over everything they've got. So what fleet is that? That is the Science first grand going to go north. Uh, it looks like you're engaging. Did they just take the core worlds back from us? Oh, we never did the main invasion of their primary world. Yeah, that's the problem. So we've just now, for the very first time, gotten into orbit of the Imperial core world. So we're going to begin bombardment until they surrender. You guys are in orbit, right? Yeah, we began bombardment. Now, it's going to take a while. All those stormtroopers and Imperial Army garrisons. Uh, I don't have... Where's those ground troops that we sent up? Yeah. If we can take their capital, that'll push this in our favor really quickly. Oh, what do we got? Turbo lasers, mining, output. We're doing fine on mining output. Not worried about that. Err, Cruiser build speed. Octuple turbo laser batteries. These are the ones that you'd find on, a, on an ISD on a Star Destroyer. Um, yeah. Because we don't know what the end game like event is going to be. Now, construction ships. How are we doing on influence? We're doing all right. Let's go ahead and expand a little bit. I want to keep you moving. You, yep. Go ahead and build your research and your mining stations there now that you've claimed this territory. And then I'm going to have you... No, 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 no. Now yeah, you're fine. All right, you've got your job. What are you up to? You need to build more research. Research is probably the most important thing we've got right now. Um, ooh, there's a little free research just sitting right there. And then, hey, we can bring over uh, our builder and finish up the last little bit. Well, I guess there's one There's one thing right here. We need to send another construction ship over to that. What are you doing? You are building mining stations and getting me that one extra point of alloys, because dibs? Intergalactic Dibs Law, please. There we go. Order done, order done. Uh, you are already in system. Oh, you're a science ship. You just did the scan here. Right, 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 right. Other construction ship, where are you located? Up north with no orders. Wait a minute, can we not? Um... Oh, another ship's been ordered to claim that? Oh, you're a science, yeah. Science ship, science ship. So you guys are. Not really doing anything. I could assign you 
to a world to help research. Yeah, I'll come back to it. All right. Army's on the route. Uh, we've got the largest fleet that we own. Has another thousand days. We'll speed up time a little bit. The Empire has decided to do that thing it does. It's moved a 2,000 fleet. Oh, you actually have like a proper fleet of um, victory classes rolling about. They're gonna be able to take over three sectors. The same sectors that they always like to take over. No big deal. Our fleet is actually gonna pass through there. So we can annihilate that enemy fleet as we approach up. And that'll put this a little bit farther in our benefits. How are you doing? You're on the way. And they're on their way too, so we can annihilate this this fleet. The revelry. Interesting, the revelry has a uh, rebel alliance species leader. Yeah, they're, enemy they're taking territory, but we're about to close in on them from two sides, no less. I don't know if we want to go deeper into their territory, into the revelry, or we want to start cutting back. Probably cutting back. Okay, here we go, here we go. Did we catch them before they jumped? Oh, yeah, we jumped right on top of them. Let's bring this back down to a normal speed. The battle, whoa, the battle has begun. Revelry versus the Republic. I really like their ships. Like, the Revelry was a really cool faction. I'm glad that we get to see them a little bit more. I was sad that we didn't get to continue and complete that um, that last campaign that we played as pirates. That's how it goes sometimes. Real rough starts. Gotta post, gotta post your losses. Makes for interesting stories. Somebody was telling me in Empire War during a stream that I should turn the difficulty all the way down because they want to see me win, and I just didn't understand that mentality. Where's the Where's this challenge? Where's the strategy there? You gotta you gotta have a risk of failure if it's gonna be fun to play. It makes the victory just so much better. All right, construction's construction doing okay. Complete. You guys, uh, you're still having job problems. Bam, my jabs. You actually have overcrowding issues and not enough jabs. I can fix this with a um, luxury residence's help, but we're gonna get too much of a population there. Uh, you're fine. And then you're eight for eight with eight missing jobs. So, wow, wow, Salix. Alex, where are you? You're up in the north, right? You're up here, yeah. Hmm. You're one of my farming provinces. Let's carry on with that. I've been putting a lot of hydroponic farms in there. You're the reason I've got such a huge extra uh, base for it. So the fleets are moving. I do have reinforcements. Oh, hey, guess who's arrived? Now, do we have a chance to win this? Where is our transports? Our army has arrived. Go ahead and set up here. I wanna see what your strength is. The garrison size is 463. You think we get some kind of force multiplier uh, due to the fact that uh, donate 500 for 50. Yeah, I'll donate. Um, yeah, we don't have enough. No, we don't have enough. We have to continue to um, the bomb. You think we have a force multiplier because we have like orbital support and whatever uh, fighter support that we'd have there, but apparently that's not how any of this works. That's not how the Space Force works. Really? Really sick of you guys. You, you, the, oh, the, oh, the Rebel Alliance fleet's on the way. The Allied fleet's on the way. All 54,000 of us, complete. including Republic battleships mixed into the fleet when they get there because they've actually, eh, they're not really catching up. Institute the increased benefits. Construction complete. It's gonna be what we do over and over again. Push on in. Construction complete. Let's go back. Let's go hunt down the enemy revelry fleet. I wanna keep pushing through that. Uh, 7.5K. Debating where to take you. Let's push you through here and actually get into their territory. Might be able to push this farther along. That's why we're building all these uh, 
extra jobs. How are you doing on happiness? Wow, you're doing really good on happiness. That's uh, because I've already given you uh, an entertainment forum. Right. Well, why don't we grab 242 on food right now? We do have the buildings for benefits already. Let's let's go ahead and just make you an agricultural world. That should fix some of your issues. And then you've got job problems as well. Simple fix. Yours, though, not so much. That's our brand new world. That's right. Do those upgrades as well. What combat? What do we got? Oh no! The Federation fleet, one of them, one of the smaller ones. Oh, you are in so much trouble. Those were the reinforcements. But shortly, we're gonna pop, 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 and take them out. 58 to 31. Now what I'm really worried about, has it hit yet? They haven't engaged. The last kings have brought in the 2K fleet. Yeah, what happened to that, um, there it is, 11,000. Their big ass conflate. You know, I wonder, this is one of the old galleons and they can't make these anymore. I wonder if they're limited to what ships they can build because of their, um, because of the con being uh, broken up. So if we destroy all of them, you know, maybe they can't get them back. Be interesting to see. I think this requires more experimentation. Gonna give you a Ministry of Production and a Housing District. And pause that for a second. So we can see what that battle is. I just want to, um, Ministry of Culture as well. No. Yeah, let's get you some residences. What do we got? We are taking these back. One at a time. And the reinforcements, they're all, just don't engage. So what I had anticipated was that 11k fleet was gonna go through and take this entire area out. Pushing this in their favor. Uh, the war effort in their favor. But apparently not. And we're still chasing the enemy around, so that's a thing. Division report success. I think I want to give you guys orders to just engage. Are they running? They already ran. They're not in the sector anymore. Where do they go? Stop going south. I've lost their location. Got some new research. Picked up the new turbo lasers. We can also do fighter research. Which isn't a bad idea because of our battleships. Let's go ahead and research into that. Yeah, let's do it. Fleet command limit. We're still looking for naval capacity. Climate restoration research, fairly quick. Or general army damage through conditioning. Uh, I mean, for what we're doing right now, it might be done in time, 60 months. The war will probably still continue. Hmm. I'll take the fleet command limit so we can make the individual fleets larger. Because we're gonna get a lot of well-trained, experienced officers out of this. Our admirals are gonna be leveling up and I'd like to have them be able to give those bonuses to the larger fleet. Ah, see, they took these worlds. Hopefully my ally can can um, build up some ground troops. Like, they have the armies. Yeah, they've got nine and so they got 10 units right there. They can take these back. I don't know where their fleet went. I think they may have jumped. How are you doing? I didn't even see how strong that base was that I had you engage. Millinus. But Gallus looks like he's gonna be able to take it with some casualties. And then we'll hold here. We'll probably be able to use it as a repair base. That is a big star base we're taking out. Who's insulting us now? The Galactic Empire. The role the Galactic Republic has played out. Go where you belong from now on. Into the dustbin of history. We are winning the war, you guys realize that, right? Now what? Perhaps there are star nations in the galaxy that are even more worthless than the Galactic Republic. If so, we've yet to meet them. Rude. They're talking a lot of crap. They're talking a lot of crap. All right, base is ours. So I'm curious, uh, once this base is online, that is a lot of anchorages, wow. <gasps> Ooh, we took their anchorages. How hard is that gonna hit them economically? Don't be mad. <laughs> we'll, um, 
I'm debating on being either more aggressive and continue to push in toward Cold Grave. We have to take another 3.2k station. They've got some some defense stations. They've really plopped those down everywhere. Look at that. Oh, you know why? Because they were fighting um, the Iron, the Union of Iron up here for so long. So they've built up. This used to be Union of Iron territory. No, not right here, because that's Cold Grave. That's their actual. Uh, this was, though. So I think this was their front line. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. All right, ground forces, have you, are you able to make the invasion? This would really, taking over their capital, having Republic troops on the ground would be real nice right now. No, because they're, they're digging in even more. The devastation numbers are still continuing to, uh, to rise up though, so. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. I don't think I'm going to be able to get you reinforcements. They kind of cut us off down here. Unless, I can do something silly like this. Yes, I can. Jumping troops. 10 days. We're just using our jump drives. Because those are a thing. Ah, oh, that must be so irritating. If you're playing, like, multiplayer, and you're playing very, like, turtly, very defensive, and you, um... And you have these space stations built up on your front line, and then all of a sudden, you know, people get jump drive tech, and they're just like, well, I'm just gonna bamf over your line now. Don't mind me. Oh, that'd be so irritating. How are we doing on, um... You're almost full, so we'll go ahead and do the sale now. All right. Carry on. Carry on. Let's get this war in the bag. Bring the Empire under our control. Reinforcements are still en route. Uh, where are they now? Wait, what happened to that Imperial fleet? I think they're using the jump drive. Because they're just gone, unless they went north. Somewhere I'm unaware of. Now, I'm going to send our troops straight in. Ooh, ooh, they're going around that way? Can I jump you? No. Oh, you still have a long route. You still have a long route. They're going to come up from the north, or from the south here. We need to get our reinforcements. They're going to be there far earlier than us. Are they moving north? Construction complete. No, they're bombarding a world. Caledonia. Mysterious Moon at Bytox Prime. Curious. So, they've already... Oh, I get it. All right. This is a Connet world that's actually been invaded by the Lost Kings. So the Lost Kings robots are holding out there. Republic reinforcements are on the way. You just have to hold on a little bit longer. Ooh, crap baskets. What's going on up here? Uh, a fight that can't be won. It's all these little battles that could push us in the uh, the losing category. I don't think it's going to happen. It's a big fleet. It's a big fleet I'm not really ready to take on. I think we're going to sit in their territory right now. How big is your space complete. station? 1.9? Mm. Construction complete. I think we're doing all right. Not worried about it. So those planetary constructs are done. Cannot keep up with it, though. Unemployment. How are you doing? You've got housing, but you need jabs. Let's just upgrade what we have. I'll give you a few jobs. So, you're in their territory. A few more jumps. They're not moving because they're bombarding. How many transports? They're running. Science division reports a new breakthrough. I mean, once we can take their, their core world. Oh, did you make it? Where's your jump? Yes, we have two fleets now. Ha-ha! I need to give you a general. I forgot to do that. So let's stack you guys up. 631. Uh, actually, we've got Akron available. Welcome. How big's your fleet? 690? And uh, tell me they haven't recruited more. Damn, they have. They're up in the 800s now. Hmm. Yeah, see, they're recruiting more. We can't bomb them fast enough. It's such a silly system. They're able to pour more and more troops into that. So what you want to do is you want to hit the planet with enough to take it right away. Uh, what's this? The Death Watch and... Oh, you guys have signed a status quo. Okay. That little faction's probably gone. Oh, look at this! We got an Imperial citizen uh, as one of our researchers. I hadn't noticed that when I recruited him. 
That's funny. People from all over. We got almost every race in Southern Republic. I would be surprised if there was one we were missing. Uh, let's pick up... Gateway construction allows us to rebuild and construct new gateways. Having access to the gateways could be really good. Yeah, I'm just gonna let this go. We're, we're working through the next level of, um... Devastation. Construction Which complete. is weird, because it doesn't actually directly affect this. Like, this number goes down so slowly. They're around 900 right now on garrison strength. We're only at 700, even with our reinforcements. Sad times. I like that the construction complete symbol is a uh, Lego. Who died? Ketrel died. Oh, Science it's one of our division. governors. Reports We're going to see a lot of governors die now because I recruited many of them at the same time. I did a mass recruitment of governors for all the worlds. So we're probably getting into that age. Uh, advanced concussion missiles. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What was the other thing? Proton beam? No, concussion missiles. Let's go ahead and pause. All right. Let's move the fleets. We're going in. Construction complete. The biggest battle of this war, of course, is going to be the Revelry. Yeah, they're stuck. All they can do is kind of backtrack and recapture. Not going to do them a lot of good. And we're still fronting north with you. Uh, let's have you run around. Let's grab a few more sectors. They'll be considered victory. Small victories. What's full? Uh, sell that. And sell... Everything else actually looks like it's doing pretty fine. Still 10,000 of that. Oh, we're still full up on minerals too. We're gonna be full up on credits soon. Zoltan, speaking of credits and investments, can I upgrade you anymore? I can give you ion cannons. I can give you death laser stations. Let's give you a death laser station. So sounds worse than it is. People are like, that sounds aggressive. Like, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> it's it's not there to be, like, comforting. It's a death laser for defense purposes. All right, so the fleets are moving up. We'll engage there. How are we doing on claiming those last few sectors in the south? Uh, we're doing it right now. Last two. Last two in that territory will be ours. I need to send Science a construction ship. Uh, you've done well. Go ahead and build that. Go ahead and do that. Just patching the holes in the territory a little bit. What do we have up north? Now, coming up here, Sanctuary is going to be our next move once this war is over. I know you guys have talked about it in the comments section quite a bit, and I'm down with it. Uh, we need to take the Alliance fleet and probably backed up by something like Trion's fleet because it's mostly battleships. Give them a little bit more punch. Uh, but they should be able to take over Sanctuary and free whatever's in there. And that'll be real interesting. Because we've been sitting next to this ring world uh, for oh so long. Let me pick something here. Eh. Straight up rate of fire. Yeah, that's just a flat bonus to the entire all of the fleets. We'll take it. Yeah, we've been sitting here with this for a long time. So I'd love to know what this is when we take it over. And right now, we do have a mega structure being constructed down in the south. So... Can't wait to see that. All right, here we go. And it looks like we're dropping out of hyperspace. Ooh, the third armada came out first. Hold here. Wait for the rest of the reinforcements. They'll be there shortly. Oh, they're coming at us. Oh, they're coming at us. Where are our reinforcements? Oh, they outnumber us too. I mean, it's not by huge amounts, but let me see. So this is Burgundy. So we've got the scales. You guys went in a little too early. Oh, Death's Revelry. There's Captain Rend. Lunar Dawn. Who's in the battleships over here? Pride of, there's the Pride of the Core. Give them the good news. And I'm hoping this is one of those um, galleons. Maybe they won't be able to rebuild them. Come on. I mean, they might be on their own here. Let me double check the... A month? Oh, you guys have to hold out for 58 and 44 days? You're way faster than the rest of the fleet. Who knew? Okay, how much damage have we lost? 
The reactor's already have to fall back. Um, oh, the Lunar's taking a lot of damage. Sorry, Lunar. You retreated, though. Well done. You didn't die. You didn't die. The fleet's holding. The days are ticking by. What are we engaging? Don't engage the station, too, you... Oh, you lunatics. Oh, the Destiny. Taking some hits. Nobody's actually died yet. They're all falling back. Oh, the reinforcements are going to come in. It's going to be... Heroes. We're waiting for their hero moment. Destiny. Luckily, it's all like the Astral Wind here. They got a lot of health. Like, they're not even through the shields yet. There's the reinforcements. Engage, 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 engage. Uh, the nick of time, man. There's the Alliance fleet. Look at all the impacts. <gasps> Woo! You survived. Oh, Luna in the reactor. I'm so glad you guys jumped out. They didn't get stuck in on it, because that would have been terrible. But that's also a victory for us. So, one of the major fleets have been destroyed. We're not going to wait around too long. I'm going to take the 50 stack. And I'm going to have you go down here and fight the next fleet you see. And we'll probably go north and continue the battle. Now, there was another battle engagement. What's going on? Finding a war on many fronts. Uh, okay, Jacob, Nova Fire, you've arrived. This is one of our new admirals. You can see all the concussion missiles and the torpedoes we've been using. Since the refit. And there we go. I don't know if I have orders for you right now. Oh, you're taking back the um, the territory the Empire took from us. Right, 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 right. There's a Imperial fleet, the 15th Deep Core Reserve, which is literally just three victory classes. Uh, I might have to backtrack a fleet back there to blow them up. Where are you rooting for? You're going toward uh, somewhere. Doesn't actually tell me. It says moving. Oh, they're moving toward the space station. Let's counter that. Reinforcements are on the way. Yep, they're creeping through the middle. We'll counter that. Sorry, we gotta pull them off the uh, bombardment. Speaking of bombardment, how are you? Oh, we can take it now. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and begin the invasion. Land armies. Watch this. Watch this jump. And our allies are heading out. All right, we'll just go ahead and speed that up. Now that the invasion's All begun. All elements are dropping on target. Mmm, I actually like the idea. Improve structural integrity of defense platforms. Yeah, it's almost done researching anyways. Grab it. Sword One Actual reports all ground objectives secured. That only bumped us by 2%, taking the enemy's capital. That seems silly. You think you get a lot more than that. But I guess because of the scale Science of the conflict. Success. Actually, because of the scale of the conflict, 2% is probably a big chunk. Uh, what do you got? Flat cannons. We've got hypervelocity. Or we get jabs. 5% from jabs. Flat bonus to the entire empire, practically. I have a lot of minerals coming in right now. I'm already maxed. We're not gaining anything. Uh, let's go with... My flat cannons are fine. And we'll sell some. Another fleet? Oh, you yeah, your invasion. Gotcha. Well, because you finished your job, I can send you... I can head south. Let's clear out the rest of the enemy down there. And you guys... Construction complete. They don't, they don't have much left to take on this front. It's really over near Tryon, and I didn't bring you enough reinforcements. Go ahead. Construction pause complete. it. Let it go. We need to push them to 100% and get them to surrender. How strong is this station? It's a 3.2k. We've got a fleet nearby. We've got the Home Guard fleet. They're at 7.3. We could do that. We could push that. Um, they do have a 400 or 200. Hmm. No. Don't. Let's play it smart. Let's hold. Hold where we're at. Construction. They'll complete. take some casualties, and there's another 2k fleet there. And more space stations. Construction so. complete. What do we got? Whatever it was, I think we won. 
new research. Chemical bliss. We're not going to do chemical bliss. Not going to happen. Uh, edict duration. I want to do this just to get rid of it. It's been here forever. All right, unpause. Fleets are moving. Hey, we're picking up a new domination. Governor cap, not worried about it. Capital building and housing building provide plus one housing each. Ooh, that's nice. And we don't have a little problem with crime right now, so let's go with that. <sighs> All right, how are we doing on... It's one of our peacekeeping armadas. It's one of our uh, it's our battleship captain. All right, we hit a cap on something. What did we hit? 63, 58. We got a lot that are almost there. I would like to buy extra gas. Thank you. Ah, there it is. Freaking Tabana. Wow, Tabana prices went way up. We just got 10 grand for that sale on Tabana. How are you doing, fleet? Let's go. Let's go kill these transports that are just rolling through complete. our territory. We've taken this. I assume we fought that fleet as well. They must have run off. That's what I'm going to guess. Uh, I'm not worried about taking out these alien vessels. Trying to debate where to go next. We're not at war with the Death Watch. Let's go grab that. You don't have any issues from behind the line, do you? No, you're fine. The only issues that we're really having is the um, the poor Rebel Alliance has kind of gotten in a a rough spot. Oh, there's your fleet. You went that direction, and you've got two of them. All right, we're moving the Seven K fleet. We're gonna go make some progress. This hasn't pushed fast enough. Fast enough, far enough. Yeah, we're gonna go hunt down their uh, their 2K fleet over here. So Tryon, I know you've got some uh, some wounded ships here, but you're also our battleship fleet. Oh, there they are. That battle's over. <laughs> that was like a blink. Blink and it's over. All right, let's go ahead and recap this. We're at 93%, so hopefully they realize they're not going to win and go ahead and surrender. Whoops, what did I just pick up? Oh, I don't care about gene modification. Let's take Unity Ambition. Unlocks a set of edicts called Unity Ambitions. They are different from edicts in the sense they cost Unity to use uh, equal to the amount it would have unlocked the next tradition. Ascension Theory. Oh, that's actually quite cool. Our history is a repeating cycle of dramatic, technological, political, and cultural leaps. These leaps are often preceded by periods of upheaval, followed by times of relative stability. By identifying the core reoccurring premise of these leaps, we may be able to effectively short-circuit the cycle for our own benefit. Hmm. Or a crap ton of food for nutrition replication. Like, a lot of food. We don't know what to do with it, food. I'm gonna go with this just out of pure curiosity. Let's find out. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and buy also. There we go. Kinda stacked up on the rare gases. How's the fleet doing? Should be pushing through that, no problem. Construction you did. complete. Oh, but they own a world out there, that's right. We need to chase them down. Complete. That fleet's gonna be a problem. And I don't have reinforcements for you any other direction, do I? No, I do not. Do you have some research I can pick up, though, back in here? Let's get those all queued up, get that done. I think the war, the war is just Science about division over. Report success. Now we're just kind of waiting for it. Proton beam, destroyer hulls, plasma blast. Go with something simple. Let's go with the destroyer hulls. I want to build up some destroyers for Tryon's fleet. Our big battleship fleet that we've got over here. I think he could use a little bit of support that isn't just battleships. Oh, we caught up to him. You caused... Wait, where did they go? Yeah, we caught up to him. You've been causing so much trouble. Finally, they're trying to bombard this world. That's why. 
Tryon is not having any of that shit. Let's go. The Zim Dog, the Astral Wind, the Wayfair, the Olympia, the Arcadia, the Ares, the Bushido Star, the Regat El Super, yeah, the Straight Valkyrie, uh, Starlight Valkyrie, excuse me, the Eternal, and the Speakeasy. A couple of you guys are brand new. Just been assigned as captain. And utter destruction. Yep, there it is. Let's take this back. What direction do they retreat to? I need to take this back as well, then just kind of back cycle. Uh, do we manage to take that station? We did. Uh, how are the casualties though? Because you were a 7K fleet. You still are. Nearest repairs? In the sector we're in. Beautiful. So we'll get the home guard fleet repaired here. Uh, and let you sit on that station for just a little bit longer. 97%, almost to 100. We're so close. We'll speed up a bit more. Speed up time, look at our planets. Um, you know what I'd like to do? Well, let me get my construction ships real quick. I have an idea. For fun and profit. Can you build... You can. Build me a habitat station in orbit of this. Go for it. I have a large population that needs homes and jobs. Let's start building satellite stations. Let's start using that population and getting them out there. We have the resources. We have the technology. We can do it. Sure, right there. Ooh, I wonder how where are things at? Pirate side, it must be dealt with. I bet I have the ship for the job. Are you where I think you are? Uh, actually, no. You're way farther south than I anticipated. But we do have the ship for it. I like the idea that... Not fortune's favor. Where is it? There we go. Uh, Captain Chow is our anti-pirate specialist. So, I'm looking at your vessel. Actually, go upgrade first, because I want you to have your sweet jump drive. That way you can get to these pirates. And as soon as you're done upgrading, go smack them around. All right, unpause. That'd be some free minerals for us, too. You always get that little, like, mineral increase. What's the station strength here? 3.5, they're getting stronger. Uh, I mean, we could take it. Which way are you heading? Moving to, you're not moving this direction. Let's go. We'll engage. We'll send Science the uh, Rebel Alliance the fleet here, the little one, to take this. May have be some casualties, but it'll be a 3.5K station we can use as a uh, restock, resupply center. 7.7. .7. I think our Admiral just got a promotion. His fleet strength went up. Yeah, you'll be able to take that. All right, armor torpedoes, disruptor chain, purple color. Mm. Not worried about kinetic weapons. Not worried about robotics either. Let's go for the hull strength. Getting some of those uh, earlier ships upgraded. Almost 100%. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, that's the pirate fleet, yeah. Reinforcements are already on the way. New ruler mandate, that's fine. Not concerned. Research station lost to enemy action. Let's sell a little bit of Ships refitted. minerals. And we'll pick up strike craft damage. Increase our capital ship's capabilities. Mining station lost to enemy action. Really? They're taking out our mining stations, those jerks. Mining so what do you want? To enemy action. Esteemed President Marcus Akron, a decade ago. Oh, you took Akron from me? You took one of my generals? That's who just got promoted as governor, as um as the leader of the Republic. Uh, you wanna give me opinion, monthly unity for five thousand it's a deal. And we'll extend our deal, it's fine. We have the income, we might as well use it. Get those bonuses coming in. Worth it. Worth it. Not bad. Not bad. That's 100% on the war effort. They're not really doing anything too shocking at the moment. We've been kind of just chasing them around. I guess I'm just gonna order the Armada to go through and break them. What's the most defended place they have? Probably back here, Siplum. I'm guessing that's where their uh, homeworld is. 
So we're going to go back there. Go back there and deal with it. What do you got? Mm, getting close on food. Actually, consumer goods were getting close hilariously. We've got the speed on fastest, so that's why everything is coming up so quickly. You can do your upgrade. We've got more job issues. We can fix those with a couple of quick upgrades. And you lost your governor. What do we have? Borders open between the uh, Mandalorians and the Black Watch. Now, uh, companions have probably shifted quite a bit because the war has gone on for so long. Yeah, the revelry used to Science love us, and now they're success. just neutral with us. Which is kind of funny, because we've got a fleet, like, bearing down on almost their capital. Let's get some repairs. Ooh, survey speed? <laughs> so late in the game, survey speed research. Oh, we can get astromech droids. Lowers the upkeep of starships. That's amazing. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. For sure. I want that in my life. R2s and R4s and R6s running around. Alden, I don't have a lot of anything for you to do, man. We're kind of just waiting. Let's go back and take back the Lyrum system. There's no reason not to send your fleet over and deal with it. Oh, let's check out that, um, that superstructure. So, it was this system. It was a long time. Strategic Coordination Center. Yeah, we still have over... With the speed that this has been going, we still have over a thousand days. Construction complete. It's coming, though. Real curious to see what this does. You just increase your benefits. It's fine. We're gonna have that. I've just kind of accepted it. It's a thing. Oh, I want you to have this last generator. Can't do it. Now, no, we've got a lot coming in. 240. All right, all right. I'm going to give you guys another hollow theater. Keep everybody happy. That way the crime rate stays down. You need a job? Have a hollow theater. It's telling me about the unemployment on Mon Cala. You don't Science say. Division report success. Have a Ministry of Culture and a commercial zone. Let's keep this up, this number up as high as we can. What do you got? New research. Uh, there's nothing really super interesting in here. We'll just go ahead and take five percent on the shields. Upgrade there. Take a couple more districts. What do you have? Do, 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 do. Monthly society research minus 100. Wait, what? The Virgum Trium modifier adds six months, giving the following effects. No. Not, not even, even a little interested. Like, that would be good if we were really hurting for it. And there was a time in the, in, in the Republic's uh, history where we were really hurting for consumer goods. Um, but that time is long past. That is a non-issue. A skill three governor. Not really interested, man. Sorry. There it is. Our battleship arrived at that pirate station and blew it to pieces. Excellent. So at 26, at 2000, wait, 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 yeah, 2600, uh, I think around there is what the end game scenario it might be 24 actually. We may have crossed over that line. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, wow, where's the, where's the nearest repair center for you? Not far. Speaking of like repairs and figuring out what's going on, go poke that. Uh, I have, I'm curious. I'm very curious. Is this a gateway? That's no, the wormhole. That's the, yeah, let's go back door over here and see what's in. Let's annihilate this all. Let's just clear this out. I can send one of those scientists to do anything over here. Construction complete. Nah, we're just waiting for the war to end. 
A new admiral has been promoted in the leadership pool. We now have a promising officer. Promising officer. Construction Excellent. Complete. Construction have complete. we uh, recaptured everything we've lost back here? They have another fleet coming in. Let's go deal with that. A few more promotions. When did this war start? It should be coming to an end. They're getting there. Almost. Only minus 11. We're really close, actually. If we can just take a little bit more of their territory, they'll probably surrender. I uh, don't think there's anything else to take. We've invaded all of their worlds. Did the core have any other planets? That one's been invaded and occupied by us. That's their main. That doesn't have any. I really don't think so. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We've got one world just to the south. I can go take that. Let's go ahead and unpause that. Construction What's your deal? Complete. You're going to fill up my um, energy credit numbers in a moment. Oh, that's right. I was going to do star base upgrades. Because we're still over and we need anchorages pretty badly. Let's go like, across the board, do a bunch of upgrades, pick up a bunch of anchorages. Just get us in a better spot. And I can always tear these down later if we really, really want to. This is going to be a um, costly in power. Which means we need to fix that with our planets while our ground troops move in. Zor, you're already here. Let's give you a... Oh, one of our admirals died. Oh, look at that! We have an Imperial soldier. Uh, what's your thing? Restraint. Collateral damage on an army. Yeah, keep them alive. Why not? Land troops. Oh, no! They won it. They won it with ground transports. All sword ground elements are dropping on I'll be honest, I didn't even Science look at what kind of army they have. A new breakthrough. It is not nearly large enough. Construction complete. Hey, we got that new research. We can create penal colonies. We don't really need it. Our people are actually pretty happy. Uh, outside of being unemployed, we have quite a few of them that are. Uh... Other Empire Colony. <laughs> it's a little dark side, but I think we're going to go for it. We have a new Ascension perk. All right. I think I'm going to leave Defender of the Galaxy. I think I might leave this point open because we might need Defender of the Galaxy. Maybe. We could go with um, Galactic Force Projection. This would give us naval capacity. Uh, not just to fix this, but also to give us the naval capacity so we can get our Titan online in case something actually goes down for the main, uh, the, the big in-game thing, whatever that's going to be. Uh, but we also have Colossal Projects, the planet killer weapons. So I'm going to leave this up to you guys. So let me know in the comments what we should go for. I think the big ones are going to be like, we don't need Master Builder, um, other than it would speed up the construction time. Uh, I think we're pretty patient. We can do... Defenders of the Galaxy will give us bonus damage to the Faction Crisis, whatever happens. Galactic Force Projection will give us the Titan. We'll have enough build cap, even though we are working on that. Um, and then Colossal Projects will give us the Death Star, basically. We even had the research done for it. We just need the Ascension perk. So let me know in the comments which one you think we should take. I will leave that up to you. I'm... I don't know. I'm also... I'm not really sold on anything. As funny as getting the Death Star is, it doesn't really... Wait, I can just build these now? How does that even work? Do we just get it? Because there's not going to be enough jobs, I think. Or does this actually produce jobs? Clerks. It's clerks for days. Oh, we can build the other ones. Oh, okay. Oh, that is weird. That is really weird. No more city districts. Power. Power for days. Does it look different? Did we? Because we did the thing. Oh, did we do the thing? Oh, no. I don't think we did. Decisions. What did you need to do the thing? 
You needed number of number of uncleared blockers in less than one. What? Why can't you do this? Uh, turns the planet into a giant metropolis. Uh, let's see, housing, resource production, and pop growth, and unlock special district. Da, 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 generator, mining, and agricultural districts. Okay. All district slots on the planet must be filled with city districts. Gotcha. Can I not? All districts must be city districts. No jobs for anyone, just housing. Construction complete. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's weird. That's really weird. Oh, our habitat's complete. Cool. Hopefully you guys move over there. Glad to hear it. Oh, we have to colonize it. Right. Send a colony ship over there. Which I find bizarre that you build the station and then they're like, oh yeah, you have to colonize that, by the way. After you've built the station. So that means like somebody can swoop in, I would assume, and steal it from you. But you have to own the territory to build it, so maybe not. Maybe not. Construction complete. They're not gonna surrender, are they? We're minus nine. I can probably push this. If I just keep hitting them, I can probably push this to a victory. Uh, what's going on here? We took it back, but we can't take back the planet because I don't have troops over here. So let's go here and here. We're trying to take another world. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. Forces are on the way. They should here be here pretty quick. We also should be really close to getting that mega structure done. Find out what that's gonna do. Strategic Coordination Center restored, speaking of which. The abandoned Strategic Coordination Center in the Oglifa uh, has been fully repaired and staffed by the most brilliant military minds of the Galactic Republic. True to its original purpose, the mega structure will be put to use coordinating our military might throughout the galaxy. I like how it's not zooming in on it. What does it do? Okay, hang on, pause. Show us your wares, what do you have? I'm not giving you research. I'm not giving up my research for months for just a little bit of stuff. 75 power upkeep, holy crap. What does it do? I thought maybe it would give us Holy crap. We can now effectively support 387 units. 150 of that is coming from the Strategic Coordination Center. That building is amazeballs. People were like, you'll never be able to afford it, Shaq, and it is very expensive, but I mean, we can just go into any one of these planets that are waiting for populate for like jobs and Spam generators for days. Have that. Have, uh, where's the generator? Where's the generator button? Uh, push the button. There it is. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Power. Power for days. We're fine. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. And our fleet should be, have already arrived. And then Tryon. So this is going to be the end of the episode. We're going to watch Tryon on the fourth fleet. The rest of the capital ships engage the enemy, saving our allies. Tryon's been ra running to the aid of the Rebel Alliance all episode. The rest of the fleet. And they're gone. Let's take the sector back. Engage the station. Because if they were trying to invade that planet, we can't have that. Open fire. All right, ladies and gents, let me know in the comments what you think we should take for our uh, our big perk. I, we were going to take the force projection, complete. which we still could, mind you. I mean, that would just make us an even bigger fleet next episode. We could do, like, Titan construction and a whole nother fleet or flesh out the fleets that we have. So, it's kind of interesting. I don't know what to do. Let's kill off this transport real quick before I not. Yeah. There you go. 
No transport for you and begin bombardment of the planet. So this is what they get. This is what happens. All right, everybody. See you in the next one. Later, all.